And Commissioner Hardesty has been an outspoken advocate of cutting police funding. Her influence has guided city decisions. All at the same time, Portland has seen a sharp spike in violence, especially gun violence. Absolutely. And our Liz Birch sat down one on one with the commissioner to talk about her opposition to more police funding as another commissioner introduces a new gun violence proposal late this afternoon. Liz joins us live now with much more. Liz. Elizabeth, good evening. I spoke with Commissioner Hardest Day here today over Zoom and I asked her about this new proposal and why it doesn't include that initially proposed $2 million towards the police's new enhanced community safety team. I give my condolences and support to family members who I know are terrified. Commissioner Joanne Hardest Day says the gun violence in Portland is devastating, but she doesn't support giving police more funding to stop the increase. The police have a role, but their role is simply to solve crime. Their role is not to prevent crime. Their role is not to, um, uh, uh, to intervene with other community activities. They say they don't have enough resources for investigation. Do you, you're saying you don't think that's accurate? I don't think that's accurate. She said she and the other commissioners are working on their own counter proposal on how to fight gun violence that won't include additional funding for Portland Police Bureau's enhanced community safety team. That proposal was originally made by the Interfaith Peace Action Collaborative and supported by Mayor Ted Wheeler at the time. Is it accurate to say all of the city commissioners oppose that $2 million? Uh, it, yes, I, it's fair to say that uh, I have not talked to any colleague who thought the proposal that was presented at the press conference with IPAC and the mayor um, had any standing at all. So what's going to be specifically in this counter proposal? Well, um, I will say that we, uh, it's really based on, um, uh, a, uh, you know, the police talk about a public health model, um, but folks that work in community-based organizations really work from a public health model. Because gun violence spiked after city council voted to disband the gun violence reduction team, I asked her about that decision. Do you think that disbanding the team then contributed to the rise in shootings now, or do you think they're unrelated? Absolutely not. It is a totally unrelated issue. We also talked about the leaked police report that falsely tied her to a hit and run. She says the unions reached out, but she hasn't gotten an apology from the chief or anyone else in PPB. What are you feeling right now through all of this? Well, I think I feel like most African Americans do in this community. I'm always a little nervous when I interact with police officers, um, more so now because I uh, now that I know that if there if people are intentionally leaking misinformation to try to discredit me, um, at, on one point, a I must be headed in the right direction. But b um, I, I'm fortunate that I have a platform that I can defend myself. As for the state of the city as a whole, Commissioner Hardesty told me she's cautiously optimistic. You can read exactly what's in that counterproposal right now online at coin.com. Back to you.